A group of 10 Democrats and 10 Republicans came together this past weekend to do something that hasn't been done in about three decades, not even after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting 10 years ago. They agreed on a package of gun safety bills that aim to reduce the mass shootings that occur daily in this country. The agreement includes expansion of red flag laws in states where guns are taken away from dangerous people, increased background checks for people under 21 who want to purchase a gun, investments in mental health services, and increased school safety measures. New Jersey's U.S. Senator Cory Booker helped to negotiate the deal, and he's with me now to talk about it. Senator, this, this agreement is the first of its kind in a very long time. What did it take to reach agreement on things like closing the boyfriend loophole or increasing background checks for people under the age of 21? Well, should we pass it, it will be the most significant gun safety legislation passed in 30 years. And it's been a long journey to get here uh, with a lot of work on uh, individual provisions. We've been pushing these since I got to the United States Senate with colleagues of mine like Chris Murphy. Um, he and I have done everything from a, a, a filibuster on the Senate floor, a lot of working and organizing, and a lot of outside groups all across the state of New Jersey, from groups like Moms Demand Action, have been rallying and organizing. And so here we are at a point where we can make a real solid step forward in making our country safer. Nowhere near where we need to go, but this is a solid stride for, for forward on a journey of ending this epidemic violence of guns in our country. Yeah, you said not all uh, was included in there. And the president said, you know, certainly this is not, this doesn't accomplish everything that he wanted to see, but it's a start. I'm curious what you pushed for that didn't make it into this agreement. Gosh, well, I'm happy to have a lot of fingerprints over this bill, especially the things like resources for something that's called community violence interruption, which I know from Camden to Newark, getting resources into communities to do evidence-based programs that help to uh, uh, divert people from violent action into constructive action really does work. But the things that I've been looking to do in this bill uh, in the future is things like gun licensing. If you're in a nation where you need a license to even to cut hair, why is that you don't need a license to buy a weapon of war? Um, and it's something that's supported overwhelmingly by Americans and frankly, that in states like Connecticut, when they did it, they lowered their gun violence rate 40%. And then, of course, things like an assault weapon ban and more comprehensive universal background checks. These are things supported overwhelmingly by Republicans and Democrats, and we should get them done in the future. When we look at the increased background checks for individuals under 21, will that include social media? Has that been fleshed out yet? No, we are still uh, writing that section out. Uh, I am hopeful that it will be comprehensive in the sense of checking with uh, schools and police departments locally uh, to see what's going on. This is going to make resources available for states to do this, uh, to do their, um, to do more uh, um, uh, issues like red flag laws that will capture a lot of these things that where people may have made threats on the internet. But the background check period um, for kids is going to check specifically. Um, uh, some of their records with local police and, and schools. We know that so many mass shootings are carried out by people under 21. What is the continued opposition from the GOP pushing back on raising the purchasing age limit? You know, that was a tough thing that we did not gain at the negotiation table this time. They did not want to add new gun restrictions in that manner and what, what really drew the line at raising the age with which to buy these horrific weapons. So we, we, we didn't get that off the table, but this increased background check period uh, could help us to put a cooling off period that could prevent some of the things like we saw in Uvalde and Buffalo. Obviously, the, the details still need to be written out, as you said. How confident are you that you will have the 60 votes needed in the Senate and then be able to move this through the House? Well, we started with 20 of us. Uh, I was one of the 10 Democrats and there's 10 Republicans. And so that's a pretty good start. And that gets us immediately to, to 60 uh, if the Democrats hold, which I know they will. And so we're gonna try to build from there actually and get more Republicans. And that's the work that we have before us. United States Senator Cory Booker, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much.